Hey guys, another quick video for our food and eating in Japan playlist. And maybe we should make a new mini series on patience in Japan. We were driving somewhere recently, a couple of people in our car noticed this place selling crepes. I happened to notice lots and lots of cars and lots of people waiting. <laughs> right. But the automatic reaction from the Japanese people in our car was, oh, that must be good. And it was because there were lots of people waiting. And it's the automatic Japanese response to seeing people waiting. There's lots of people waiting. It must be good. That's the automatic reaction. So we pulled up. I noticed straight away there was only one employee in that box. And she has one hot plate and she's making one crepe at a time. So I noticed that. And I noticed how many people were waiting. Did some quick math. Decided we weren't going anywhere for at least an hour. And sure enough, it took just over an hour for us to get to the front and to get our two crepes. And not one person gave up. So people were pulling up in their cars and they could see how many people were waiting. They could see there was only one person working. And not one person gave up. Nobody took one look at the line and drove away. Nobody started to wait and then decided, no, this is ridiculous and left. Not one person. Every single one of them waited until they got to the front of the line and got their crepe and then off they went. And the time while we were there, it was over an hour from when we started waiting to when we actually got our crepe and got to leave. So it's just a Japanese thing. It, it, it sort of makes, it attracts them because they see lots of people waiting. Oh, that must be great if there's all those people waiting. And then the actual anticipation, you know, we showed you this with other foods and other restaurants and other food places. They will queue, you know, at, at, at events like uh, festivals and things like that, quite often people will queue and wait, you know, for, to get something that's, that's either tasty or something that's cheap or something that's free. And waiting for an hour or so to get to the front is sort of part of the anticipation and they're quite happy to do it. You know, and then that sort of makes it more rewarding then when you finally get to the front and you finally get your crepe. Oh, it's wonderful, isn't it? <laughs> it's such a Japanese thing. So if you find yourself with Japanese friends or family in situations like this, the way to think about it could be to think about that you're not waiting an hour for a crepe. You're waiting an hour to see your family members happy, right? Because for, for some of us, it's just insane. Waiting for over an hour just to get a couple of crepes is just insane. I mean, there's places we can go in nearby shopping centers where you get a crepe really quickly, you know, and they are all right, you know, but they weren't that much different from a crepe that we'd get at the local shopping center. But it's just a thing. If you've got Japanese friends and family, they will patiently wait for things like this, and you have to be patient too. <laughs> anyway, uh, there was that. More videos coming soon.